Hi, Carrie. Hi, Rachel. How are you? Really good, thank you. Good, good. So here we are, St Chad's Retreat House in Leek. A beautiful sunny day. It is, the sun's very bright. Um, it's a bit like being at one of the places of welcome. It is, isn't it? Just having a nice cup of tea with a friend. Cheers. Cheers, <laughs> cheers to you. It is. Really good, good to have a talk with you today. Yeah, it's been good, it's been good. So, you're the uh, coordinator for the Black Country, Black Country Places, Places of Welcome. welcome. Yep. Tell me a bit more about, about it. Well, Places of Welcome started as a result of kind of a study in Birmingham of how um, easily people, when they move to Birmingham, get to mm. make friends. So if they just moved into the area, what would they do to meet people? Mm. Where would they go? Where would they find out local mm. information to help them settle in? And as a result of that study, um, Place of Welcome was formed. So it's a network of local safe places in the neighbourhood where people mm -hmm. can connect and then belong and then mm -hmm. contribute. Mm -hmm. So essentially they're like coffee mornings or drop-ins where you can go and have a cup of tea, free cup of tea, a biscuit or cake, or oh. a lot of the time homemade cake, and, and get to chat to people in your community, find out what's going on uh, and have a really nice time. Sounds great. Yeah. Now I know that there are five P's involved. That's right, yeah. I think one is place. That's Can you exactly tell me right, yeah. presence? Yes. Have I got that right? <laughs> yeah. I can't remember the other three. Talk, maybe but, talk us through those. Yeah, we start with place. Place is um, about the building. So mm. it's got to be a welcoming, hospitable building that's accessible mm. for everyone. So we want anybody with any range of needs to be able mm. to, to go into that centre. And then the next one tends to be people. We want people to, yeah. to volunteer or to run um, the place of welcome and to be available yeah. to, to set it up and to chat to people. Then there's provision. We really like that there's a free provision of at least a cup of tea, coffee, soft drink or a biscuit. Mm -hmm. But a lot of our places of welcome go a lot further than that and so do homemade cake, toast, so oh, that's really very that's nice. That's really great. Yeah, some have menus. Um, <laughs> and then we've got, the I think the two most important things about a place of welcome really are that we have a presence. So the people that are there really do want to sit and listen and get to know the people that come through the doors yeah. um, and possibly sort of signpost them and help them yeah. if they need it as well with other information and services. And then the other one is participation. So as people come into the place of welcome, they get to know each other, they bring their own skills and talents yeah. um, and contribute to the group. So each place of welcome could be slightly different. Yeah, yeah. Um, and can go down different routes depending on the people that go. Yeah. So there's one that they like to play board games. Yeah. And that's a lot of fun. And other ones where they might um, knit uh, or make pom-poms yeah. and things like that. So lots of different things going on yeah. it can essentially just be a chat and yeah. get, getting to speak to people and it's got a flavor of of wherever it happens to be held and i know some of those are in churches but not all of them what kind of what kind of places yeah. spaces do they tend they, to be they can be anywhere but um so we have churches community centers outdoor spaces like gardens community gardens libraries um all sorts of places mm -mm. we've got one say in a pharmacy garden oh okay yeah. Pharmacy, yeah 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 lovely lovely and we're sort of We've had this strange sort of odd situation, haven't we, for a few months now where we're kind of easing lockdown, but we're not really. And there's a lot of uncertainty really as to what are the rules? What can I do? What can't I do? What kind of things, if somebody wants to come along to a place of welcome, maybe for the first time, mm -hmm. what kind of thing might they expect in terms of, you know, yeah. what's, what's going to be going what's on? What's going to happen? Yeah. Well, at the moment like I say, not all of our places of welcome are open, but the ones that are, are very much, you know, looking out for the COVID mm -hmm. guidelines. So well, they will welcome you and they will probably ask you to either sign in with a yeah. phone number or an address for contact details for, for COVID checks, or there might be a, a barcode if you've got a phone. Ooh, app. Very It'll be snazzy. A bit snazzy, yeah. But <laughs> either way, they'll just get some brief details just yeah, so yeah. they can contact you. You'll be asked to sanitise your hands and then you'll probably be at a seated table of six. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's outdoors, you've got a bit more flexibility. But you'll sit with people of six. While you're moving around the centre or the building, you'll be expected to wear a mask at the moment. Okay. Obviously, that may change. Yeah. Um, and some people might prefer to still wear a mask and that's absolutely fine. Yeah. And yeah, but once you're sitting at the table, you can take your mask off, enjoy your cup of tea and your biscuits and have a chat. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. And what sort of things have you found that you've been chatting about? Ooh. You know, <laughs> The conversations are really good. I'm glad you asked. Um, <laughs> At St Andrew's Church, one of the churches I first went to in West Bromwich, they opened up not long after the Eurovision Song Contest, so we were talking oh, about the Eurovision Song Contest. Did you have a bit of a song sing-along? Were you allowed to sing at this point in time? Sadly or? not. No. I think... <laughs> 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 well, that'll be the first person to step up, yeah, probably in my head. Um, 
But yes, yeah, so we talked about that. We talked about all the sort of things we'd be doing over lockdown. We did a lot yeah. of processing. So, for example, you know, what sort of things do you watch on television? A lot of yeah, box yeah, set yeah. watching yeah, and series. Yeah, yeah. Um, we also talked about what it was like to stop, first start wearing a mask and how mm. a lot of people felt quite uncomfortable and how we got used to that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Silly things like doing perhaps your first online shop yeah, and you yeah. know ordering one banana when you meant to hold a bunch of bananas. And, <laughs> or the other way around. You only wanted, yeah, to, you only wanted yeah. to buy one and you so, ended up with it. Yeah. You know, it and doesn't. then some of the more sort of serious things we needed to you know, discuss, like how we'd miss hugging people and missed meeting yeah. our, our relatives and neighbours and how excited we were at that time because the hugging thing was just being changed yeah, the, the next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then so I went to another one the other day, which was a smaller place of welcome. Yeah, you know, they are different sizes, so don't be off put if you think you're going to go to a place of welcome that's going to be, mm. you know, 30 or 40 people in there. You'll still yeah. get the same welcome even if you go to that one or a smaller one yeah. with six people. So please, you know, there are different ones for different yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in a smaller went to, one I went to, we had a lovely chat about um, murder mystery programmes of the past, <laughs> so Murder She Wrote and oh, yes. Magnum P.I. And, and then we were, we were laughing, struggling to remember the names of the characters and the actors. Yeah. And, yeah, one gentleman yeah, yeah. even remembered that the dog in Heart to Heart was called Freeway. So, you know, it good, was... Good yeah, skills. That's yeah, good, good for a general knowledge quiz, isn't good it? Good yeah. <laughs> that is exactly what I said to that person. You need to be on my, um, yeah. my team. I bet you have quizzes, don't you? Do you have quizzes ever? They I do, I guess some places yeah. would. Yeah. Right, like um, say, they're all South different. Staff's Water Hub got a um, quiz out ready on the table so that you can have a go at that and feel like you can chat to people about the answers. Yeah, that's there's all sorts of things going that's on. That's lovely. And if people want to, want to find out more... Um, I guess we can we can put some information under under the screen, can't we, for people That's want right, to get in touch yeah. with you. There is a National Place of Welcome website you can look at for yeah. ones in your area, uh, but also you can go on um, Transforming Communities Together website to look at the ones locally to us in, in Staffordshire and um, Northern Shropshire and the Black Country. Fantastic. And there's also little stories about what they're like when you, yeah. if you, and what to expect when you go there. So you see some photographs of the people and, and what they're getting up Wonderful. to. Wonderful. So yeah, check it out on our website. That's great. And go and enjoy your cup of tea. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. It's been lovely to talk to you. No problem. And um, hopefully see you in one of the places of welcome very soon. Yeah, hopefully. Brill. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.